the uh, shattered region to the bottom left of that small crater at, on the rim of Cabeus is our targeted impact point. Rusty uh, Hunt, the flight director, announced uh, earlier that uh, NVM sequence two would be running soon. That is the flash sequence, uh, the beginning of the science sampling sequence that governs the remainder of the observation. All stations flight mark, 60 seconds to send our impact. We start of NVM sequence two. We've just started sequence two. This is flash mode now. Uh, this will run from one minute prior to impact. Flight to load confirm sequence two start through three seconds after the oh, impact. We'll then switch to curtain mode, which will last for three minutes, and then the final minute uh, before the shepherding spacecraft impact will be called Flight crater mode. Science. Please change NIR1 to OPR9. Over. Copy NIR1 to OPR9. Command flight set it up. That November or Mike. Science flight confirmed November. November. We are, uh, the science team is now communicating to the flight team to uh, adjust some camera flight levels. Flight confirmed near infrared, November, correct? On Confirm. The near infrared uh, camera. Off send, NIR 1 to OPR 9. Copy, sending command. All stations flight, mark, Centaur impact. That was an announcement by the flight director that the uh, center impact should have. Uh, flight director confirm receipt of uh, command over. Flight payload curtain start over. Copy that payload. We should be looking for uh, some signs of the impact on the leftmost part right, of the. Standing by uh, with mid infrared changes. The left side of the shadow, right below the uh, the dimpled crater on the crater, the larger crater rim. Flight, this is science. Make the rate changes. MIR one, one hertz. MIR two, zero point one hertz. Over. Copy science command flight. MIR one to one hertz. Sending MIR one at one hertz. And the science team is directing the flight team to adjust the uh, sampling rate of some of the instruments to fit within the one megahertz. Uh, right with MIR2 at 0.2, uh, 0.1. The one megahertz signal limit. Go flight. Command flight, send MIR2, 0.1 hertz. MIR2, 0.1 hertz, sending command. Flight confirm receipt of command over. Copy that, payload. All stations flight one minute to transition to DV mode. Transition to DV mode, which is Delta V mode, actually is a uh, control mode for the spacecraft. It allows us to slew much more quickly uh, to continue pointing at the uh, suspected uh, Centaur impact point, even though the, uh, the shepherding spacecraft will be impacting a couple of kilometers away. This is the last minute uh, before the shepherding spacecraft also impacts the surface of the moon, and the last minute of flight. We're watching the remaining few seconds of uh, the LCROSS mission as we uh, approach very rapidly the surface of uh, the Cabeus crater.
Mark, transition to DV mode. Flight. Okay, look for Chris. NIR2, oh. OPR change request. NIR2 to OPR 10. Over. Set no copy. NIR2 to OPR yes. Confirm. 10. Confirm. November. Ready? Command flight send November IR2 to OPR 10. Command send. Flight payload confirm receipt of command. Copy payload. Easy to my shipping spacecraft impact. The very last seconds of the uh, shepherding spacecraft trajectory as it approaches the lunar surface. We are seeing very small craters within the we, crater. We confirm a thermal signature of the crater. Our mid our cameras. Over. Copy science. We just All received flight shepherding s spacecraft impact. Stations report LOS. The uh, ground stations at Goldstone just reported Last a Last package, 1135, 35.054 seconds. The shepherding spacecraft has hit the surface of the moon, and this marks the end of the Elcross uh, flight mission.